possibilities of ready so when i discussed about the day to day activities or daily activities so people confused guys okay so they thought that they are unable to understand some of the things but don't worry i just explained what and all things we are going to touch for the next two months so just overview of the training we discussed so you should know right what a dba will do generally what kind of activities will be there okay what and all things he is going to perform you should know right without knowing what things you are going to learn right you should have some clear picture so that's why i shared what and all things will do as a dba so in the last class if you don't understand anything and if you feel it's a kind of an advanced concepts don't worry at all each topic we have a separate session completely a dedication dedicated sessions will be there for each topic there i'll explain everything from a to z so you don't worry at all about the last session i just discussed a dba what kind of day to day activities he will do so for that purpose only i just explained the some of the advanced terminologies in the last class okay so please don't worry guys i am going to take care of everything okay so you don't worry about it so in the first class we just discussed what is sql server where we are going to use this sql server only these two things we discussed okay so can anyone tell me what is sql server guys what is sql server what is it is a data Way. to store the data to store the data and to, to store the data to process the data yes to retrieve the data to retrieve the data right very good okay so sql server is a database software okay so to store the data sql server will use to store the data to process the data and to retrieve the data mainly to to store to please be muted guys if you don't have questions to process and to retrieve the data so sql server is a database software okay so where we are going to use this database software we will use this software as a backend for any application we will use sql server software as a backend software for any application right and in the last class we discussed about three tier architecture also like we have three tiers in an application web server application server and your db server okay web server application server and db server so all these things we discussed in the last class okay sorry i mean previous class right yeah this is the one architecture right so first the request will come from the browser directly to the web server right like this then web server will send that request to the application server then application server will send that request to the database server then one query will execute based on the user requirements you want to buy microwave oven one query will be prepared and that query will be executed and the output you can see on the screen someone wants to buy a trimmer okay so such kind of query will be executed on the database someone wants to buy a mobile phone the same query will run on the database and it will give the output that output you can see on the screen so like that based on the requirements the query the click based on the click based on the product you are clicking okay the query will be different okay so based on the each click different queries will be generated and those queries will run on the database side and database server will give output that output you can see on the screen this is how the data is managing so database server will be there in the back end you cannot see database server guys you can see only application application is an interface between the user and the database okay user directly he cannot connect to the database right so for to help him there will be one layer in between that layer that interface is called a, an application that interface is called an application this application 
will help to get the data from the database server so all the database related operations will run on the database server only guys but the output you can see on the screen but the output you can see on the screen means the interface so application will help you it will act as an interface between the user and your particular database so we have different different so database softwares in the market as discussed guys right we have different database softwares in the market so sql server is one database software oracle is one database software mysql no sql mongo db postgres db2 these are all different different database softwares if clients or customers are using sql server as a dba our work will start if they are using some other software like oracle oracle dba will take care of it right so this is how generally we discussed in the first class guys this is how, this is what we discussed in the first class so we are going to discuss about the database server right so since from the beginning we are using one word called data 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 what is this data guys what is this data how the data will be generated information data and information both are same or any difference is there data and information both are same no so data is process information if i am not right data i think yes. it's a raw raw information which is not organized yes okay data and information both are not same data is in raw format always data is in raw format always if you see here if you see okay so if you see here raw data guys if you can see 10000 mahesh it kyarpuram abc apartments by just looking this data what you can understand guys what is this 10000 you don't know mahesh you know that it is a name it you don't know kyarpuram abc apartment kind of address it is right so what you can understand what is this this is just a raw format guys this is just a raw data you don't understand anything using this raw data if i process this raw data if we are able to process this raw data then that is called information what is meant by processing processing means adding some attributes processing means adding some attributes if you see here what i did guys i just added some attributes i just added one column name and i gave employee id as one okay and then i added one more attribute called employee name and i just added attribute means simply what context guys i just added a context so that there will be a meaning for the data if you add a context to the data you will get a meaning this is called information the processed data is called an information who can process this who can add attributes who can add some column values sql server will help us to add some attributes or sql server will add some context to the data so that by processing the data sql server will convert the data into information and i just added department column earlier we don't know what is it it is a department guys now you can easily understand earlier you don't know what is mahesh now mahesh is an employee okay earlier you can see abc kyarpuram apartments that is his address employee address and earlier you don't know what is 10000 that is his salary so i just added a context to 10000 if just give 10000 value you don't know what is the 10000 right we don't know right I, if i simply give you one value we don't know what is the 10000 what is the meaning of 10000 i just added one context okay this 10000 is salary i just added a context guys so automatically you can easily understand okay this is an employee record mahesh is an employee name it is his department and this abc apartments kyarpuram is his address 
and he is earning 10000 as a salary so i just added context so i processed this data so this data became an information so who can help to process this data guys who can help us to process this data who can help us to process this data sql server right sql server will help us to process this data and all so if you see here if you see here let me share one thing okay and uh, what we can do so if you go and check here okay so if you go to here and if i open this one let me share this one again okay right now if you see here guys can you understand anything by just looking these numbers 51 77 58 82 64 70 no right it's no. difficult to understand don't know what are these values we don't know right so what i did i just added a context to this what i did guys i just added a context to this now this 51 77 58 82 64 70 this is your raw data guys this is just a raw data so now what i did i just added a context what is the context i added these are the test scores achieved by the students means means now you have a clarity guys these are the marks achieved by the students 51 77 58 82 64 70 these are the marks achieved by the students guys now if you see that just a minute guys right so now you came to know that these are the marks achieved by the students guys once you came to know that these are the marks achieved by the student so immediately what you can understand guys immediately what you can understand so you will calculate okay so if you see here these are all the marks right so if you see here now you will calculate okay who got the highest marks who got the lowest marks you can see right you can easily calculate right so what you are doing you are simply processing the data you are simply processing the data so data means it's always in raw format guys there is no meaning to the data if you add one context so there will be a meaning for your data so adding context is nothing but processing the data okay so once you added context then you can calculate average test score is calculated as 67 percentage out of all these marks the average mark is 67 percentage in this some people are below average some people are above average like that you can easily identify guys by just this is called the process data which is your information so using sql server you can add context to the data you can add some values you can add some meaningful information you can convert that data into a meaningful information so using the sql server you can do that guys okay so this is called processing this is generally a processing guys okay we can process the data using sql server this is just a basic example how the processing and all will be done what is data and all now where we are storing this data guys generally where we are storing this data we are storing this data in a database right right now currently we are storing this data in a database software before database software what other tools we used guys to store the data excel excel form excel right before we have before the database so we have excel okay we have excel we use it to use excel sheets to store the now also we are using excel sheet so believe me guys excel sheet is an excellent database that is also a database only excel sheet is an excellent database by using excel sheet you can store the data you can process you know right you can do uh, calculations and all using excel sheet you can process the data using excel sheet and you can generate a beautiful reports using excel sheet excel sheet will help you to generate the beautiful reports guys so excel sheet is also one database software but what is the challenge sir why don't we use excel sheet instead of database 
before excel sheet what are, what other softwares are what other tools are there to store the data we have flat files notepads and all okay before notepads where we use it to store the data before notepads where we use it to store the data guys before oh, before stop. system before system books papers right before papers before stop. papers yes we use it to we use it to use the cloths and all to store the data and then we use it to use some leaves some kind of leaves also we used earlier and before to the leaves we use it to use the stones stone is okay so we use lot of modes to store the data later it was slowly converted into a database now we are using database to store the data like how the data is transformed guys why don't we use excel sheet instead of database why because every day we are generating lot of data as an individual also you are generating lot of data lot of data earlier we use it to use a 512 not 512 also 256 mb phones to store the contacts when mobile phone was introduced hardly 64 kb when mobile phone was introduced hardly the storage of mobile phone was 64 kb kilobytes i'll tell you guys difference between kb mb gb and all don't worry hardly very small storage 64 kb later it was converted to mb then then okay then uh, 256 mb phones are there, started right 256 mb phones then 512 mb phones came into the market then 1 gb phones came into the market then 4 gb phones came into the market 8 gb 16 gb 32 gb 64 gb 128 gb now 256 gb phones are very common okay and 512 gb phones are also there why guys within 20 years i guess hardly 20 years 20 to 25 years hardly this much data we are producing and that too that it 128 gb is not enough for us after every 6 months a week we are we are going to take photos videos and all that is not enough so every 6 months we'll do maintenance on our phone we use it to store the data and we use it to copy to the laptop again we'll clear the device and again we'll generate the data how much data you are generating as a dba you should know the importance of the data guys generally we will have this tendency like wherever we go and now in india especially the worst part is wherever you go they will ask mobile number wherever you go they will ask mobile number we will simply give the mobile number and we'll give all the details and if we if, if we said like we don't have mobile number they they said no sir it's very important it's mandatory to process your order like that they will they will mention so don't give your mobile numbers guys they are simply taking your mobile numbers and they are selling your data believe me if you go to selling shop also he will take your data and he is going to sell your data and you don't know we are talking round we are talking right we are we are discussing all these things right now also how many people are there 30 people are there in this meeting all your data is going to be sold in the back end now also every minute guys your data will be okay your your data will be sold by others believe me they are selling your data like anything if you go to barber shop saloon shop okay they they are they are, they are going to take your numbers or else some other shop they are going to take your numbers they will simply sell it to some other uh, like uh, beauty products kind of stuff okay or some other uh, uh, merchants will be there for everywhere merchants will be there they are going to sell the data guys if you go to anywhere if you go to more supermarket if you go to reliance if you go to some other like uh, any 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 grocery shop and all they will simply take your number and they are going to sell your data guys your data is very valuable guys believe me why because because of your data only they are able to generate revenue believe me guys information is wealth as a dba you should know the importance of the data especially your data if i go to any shop definitely i'll scold them 
why you need my data like so this is very important so now now we are generating tons and tons of data gigabytes of data terabytes of data so the excel sheet also can process the same thing it can also process the data it can also store the data it can also retrieve it will also help us to retrieve the data but still why we don't use it compatibility okay so because of the huge data excel sheets are not compatible with the application retrieving becomes very slow retrieving becomes very slow imagine if you are searching one product in the amazon and if it is taking 5 minutes or 10 minutes or half an hour to retrieve we don't use that application it simply will move to another application right who will spend we don't have that much time right we don't have that much time we have time to watch the shorts we have time to watch the insta reels but we don't have that much time to do all these things and also we don't wait definitely we'll go to some other application right so that's why retrieving becomes slow with other applications with other tools and all they tried with excel sheet also but retrieval as we have to proceed imagine if you want to open 1 gb excel sheet itself it will take lot of time databases will handle terabytes of data 2 tb 3 tb 4 tb of databases will be there 5 tb 10 terabytes of databases also will be there so why we don't use excel sheet guys instead of database why because it's not compatible with the application it's not suitable for the applications the processing the retrieving becomes very slow that's why we don't prefer to use excel sheets and all right so sql server if come if we come back to sql server sql server actually who invented sql server guys can anyone tell me ibm who invented ibm sorry ibm 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 microsoft microsoft oh, microsoft microsoft ibm it's a sql server no sir ibm yes. sql server yeah ibm was the first IBM was the first to introduce the SQL Server, right? Which one was SQL? Cybase. Cybase. Yeah. Yes, SQL. Only SQL. SQL. Yes. SQL database. Yeah. One minute. Please, please. Huh? right okay so sql server means generally microsoft sql server only okay so microsoft sql server so who invented this microsoft sql server guys actually it, this is the cybase product guys okay microsoft sql server sorry this is the cybase product actually okay cybase invented this product sql server later microsoft okay bought the logic from the cybase Okay, so Microsoft take over the Cybase logic and it just invented as Microsoft SQL Server. Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, so now after that, after like in in early 1980s, I guess in 1980s, Cybase invented this SQL Server. Later, Microsoft take over Cybase code, so it became Microsoft SQL Server. So from 1990s onwards, Microsoft itself is taking care of the SQL Server. but it was invented by cybase actually it was the cybase logic okay sql server was invented by cybase and that particular unit okay so microsoft take over that particular unit so then onwards it became a microsoft sql server guys right so microsoft took this one and it just added its own features and all so microsoft engineers did some 
okay um, uh, uh, r&d research and development on this and they just added their own flavor then it became like a microsoft sql server so this is a sql server right S sql server is an rdbms software generally sql server is an rdbms software okay what is meant by rdbms i'll tell you okay rdbms means relational database management system okay relational database management system so what is this relational database management system means till now we discussed where we are where we use it to store the data right where we use it to store the data like we use databases excel sheet flat files okay and um, papers stones we use all this media to store the data but how we store the data in what way you are storing the data it is also very important guys where you are storing the data in what way you are storing the data both are very important why because if you are storing the data properly then you can easily retrieve the data guys right see very simple some of us are using uh, what is that key holders why we are using key holders guys why we are using key holders what is the problem if you don't use key holders tell me guys what is the problem if you don't use key holders don't know we'll keep somewhere and we'll search for that key for 30 minutes or one hour or for the whole day we'll search for that key only so what we did we just created one common storage okay this is the key holder okay if you are going out you take the keys from this key holder if you if you come inside whatever keys you have you can put it here so that next time we can directly go and take it guys if we don't have key holder how much time will spend how much time will spend don't Last. know right we are going to we are, don't know we, where we'll keep it and all we might keep it on a teapot or some other table or or might be like kids and all will take it and they will they will throw to some other place again and again daily this is the routine work we have to spend lot of time to search for the keys itself if we have a key holder immediately if you put that key in the key holder automatically we can save lot of time so how you are storing the data is also important so that we can retrieve the data easily if we store without any proper order retrieval is very difficult like the key holder if you don't have key holder how it is difficult to retrieve the keys and all in the same way if we don't have one system one mechanism to store the data it will become difficult to retrieve the data okay so this relational database management system is like is the way how you are storing the data how you are managing the data in the database right so how we are going to manage the data guys in any database software will store the data in the form of in the form of can anyone tell me in the form of in the form of tables in the form of tables in the form of tables so in any database software will store the data in the form of tables so table is a common storage for storing your data so relational database engine relational database management system this is an rdbms sql server is an rdbms software rdbms means how you are managing the data in what format you are managing the data so before to rdbms we have one concept called dbms database management system we have one concept called dbms guys database management system so there also we use it to store the data in the form of tables only but what is the problem with the dbms what is the problem with the dbms for example let's go with a table with a sample table guys imagine student table student table if i asked you to collect some data related to the students what and all columns you are going to include guys tell me what and all columns you will include in that table 
student id student id very good student name first name very good first name last name okay middle name age age gender sorry gender gender okay next mail id mail id address sorry address which class belongs class number number next emergency contact contact number contact number emergency contact guardian contact different different contacts next marks marks okay very good next p which one p right percentage percentage okay attendance attendance percentage okay attendance marks next what is the important column in the student details p class p. class already yeah okay roll number roll number next p guys p is very important yeah how can you forget that p column next next like like this based on the okay requirement we use it to store the data right if we keep on adding the columns what will be the table size guys it will be huge right it will, it will be a, a very big table right we can still track lot of details we can track their marks every subject how many marks how much percentage passed or failed how much grade he got like that if you go each section will get lot of uh, um, um, columns will get guys so if we keep on adding all the columns what is the problem table size will become very big guys if table is very big what is the challenge while reading the table the whole table has to be loaded inside the memory memory means your ram if table is big it will take lot of time to load inside the ram guys okay so then what happened okay storing data in the tabular format is good only but what you can do this is called a database management system guys dbms in the dbms we use it to store the data in the form of tables okay in the form of tables but what is the problem if you are storing the data in the form of tables the table is very big and it is taking lot of time to load inside the memory which is creating performance issues later what happened after dbms please be muted if you don't have questions so later what happened father of rdbms who is father of rdbms guys ef cord uh professor ef cord introduced rdbms okay whatever you earlier before rdbms we have dbms okay dbms means store same storing the data in the form of big tables and all that is called dbms later what happened ef cord proposed one extra word letter called r r means relational so you whatever you are storing that is good but add this also create relationship instead of creating big big tables make it small small tables okay make it small small tables and store it separately okay with a common column and create a relationship between all the tables so that this one will become relational database management system so that what what is the advantage guys so tables tables on doll will be small in size and we can easily retrieve the data if it, if the tables are small and we can easily okay create security we can easily add the security to the tables security management also becomes easy so ef card proposed this formula right so you can create small small tables and create a relationship between all these tables with a common column with a common column so sid is the common column here 
right again why i need student name and all i can simply refer sid right for sid i have already a small table so in, in case if i am having 1 2 3 4 so one means here one represents something like a suresh okay one represents suresh so automatically here anyhow the data is stored right why again i'll include suresh name here why i'll include first name here last name here i'll store this data separately in a separate table so if anyone is looking to access only the specific table i can give access only to the specific table so that i can allow them not to access other tables so security will be increased and improved guys and table also as table is in small in size so performance wise also you don't get a issues and all so for this purpose ef card proposed an extra um, um, feature called relational database management system so later onwards okay databases became rdbms software so sql server is an rdbms software everything in the sql server will be stored in the form of tables everything in the sql server will be stored in the form of tables what is meant by table guys what is a table what is table table means not 21022204 not that table table means it's a format Where to data store the data in yes it's a collection of collection of rows and columns it's a collection of rows and columns and it's a collection of related data entries collection of related data entries okay so table means collection of rows and columns table means collection of related data entries okay so let me show you one example for table so you can see here uh, okay yeah okay if you see here what is a table the data in an rdbms is stored in database objects generally will call tables as objects guys so these tables will be stored in the database right so database objects which are called as tables i told you right just now all the data in the sql server everything will be stored in the form of tables even sql server internal information also sql server configuration related information also it knows only one format that format is called tabular format so in the rdbms okay the database objects okay rdbms the data in an rdbms is stored in the in a database objects which are called as tables this table is basically collection of related data entries and it it consists of numerous columns and rows guys okay so this is the table this is the employee table if you see here this is the employee table this is your column the vertical entity in the table is called a column the vertical entity in the table is called a column so how many columns are there in this table guys 1 2 3 four total five columns are there these are all columns guys the vertical entity in a table is called column or field okay what is that guys called the vertical entity in a table is called column or field is called column or field okay so this is your column guys by just looking the column can you understand anything guys just looking the column can you understand anything forget about all these other things and all just 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 can you understand anything or only no. ramesh ramesh kilan kaushik okay can you understand anything or only age column can you understand anything so column doesn't have any meaningful value guys okay but the horizontal entity 
is called a row or record okay so if you see here this is called my record guys record means what the horizontal entity horizontal entity will have a meaning guys why because all the information will be available in that entity okay so how many records are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 records are there total so the vertical entity is called field or column the horizontal entity is called row or record the vertical entity is called field or column the horizontal entity is called row or record okay if you see here yeah this is called a record okay 1 ramesh 32 ahmedabad 2000 and this is called this is called a column a column is a vertical entity in a table that contains all information associated with a specific field in a table for example a column in the customers table is address which represents the location description it will mention it will specify you a specific information guys okay it will it will describe it will describe the column will describe you a specific information that's it but whereas a record will describe you a complete information about that record okay and what is that record guys record means a vertical a horizontal entity is called a row or a record so in sql server the very important thing only the main points of this topic is sql server mainly okay it was it was the product of cybes later microsoft took that one this is one important thing second thing dbms and rdbms and types of storages right and types of modes how you are going to store the data like sql dba i mean database excel sheet like this guys no one will ask you these questions in the interviews this is just for basics okay to understand the things okay right and you should understand the difference between dbms and rdbms and dbms means database management system where the table where the data will be stored in a single table and all single big table but whereas rdbms so relational database management system there also the data will be stored in the form of small small tables and there will be a relationship between each table using one common column and in sql server everything will be stored in the form of tables only all the information will be stored in the form of tables only okay so these are the main points of the sql server guys any questions any doubts till now any questions guys no sir guys no problem you can ask if you have any questions no issues no questions clear clear okay fine chalo so now uh, no doubt it is clear okay fine right so let's go with the uh, another small okay row a record is called a, a record is also called as a row of data is each individual entry that exists in a table for example there are seven records just now we discussed right one table okay so in that table there are seven records so there are seven records so each one will exist okay what is bbms stands for you can there not bbms dbms bbms i don't know <laughs> i know dbms rdbms is it something different uh no sir no sir of dbms i ought to be oh okay okay i thought maybe some other new technology came into the market <laughs> dbms database management system yes sir okay yeah right so now if you see here what is rdbms rdbms stands for relational database management system 
RDBMS is the basis for SQL and for all modern database systems like MS SQL Server, IBM DB2, Oracle, MySQL and Microsoft Access. So all your database softwares like MS SQL Server, IBM DB2, IBM DB2, Oracle, MySQL and Microsoft Access all will use same kind of format, RDBMS system only. This is a common format guys, don't think like RDMS will use, RDBMS will be used in only SQL Server, no. This is a common format, everyone can utilize this common format like Linux code. Linux is very free, Linux is completely free, everyone can download that Linux code, you can, you can do whatever changes you want and you can introduce your own operating system. Okay, in the same way, RDBMS is a common storage. Okay, Microsoft SQL Server will use same RDBMS format, IBM DB2 is also will use same RDBMS for, uh, format. So all these softwares will use same RDBMS so formats, that means in all these formats data will be stored in terms of uh, small small tables and there will be a relationship between all these tables using a common column. A relational database management system is a database management system that is based on the relational model as introduced by Professor E. F. Cord. It was introduced by Professor E. F. Cord, guys. Okay. Right. Now let's come to SQL. Okay. SQL. What is this SQL, guys? Structured Query Language. Okay. SQL means Structured Query Language. SQL means a structured query language. So, what is this language? It itself is saying it's a language. What is this language? Where we are going to use this language? How we are going to use this language? We'll discuss, guys. As we are communicating, like how we are communicating using English language, like we are we are using English language right to communicate with all of you so that english is the common language that we all can understand right english is very common language that we all can understand so how i am communicating with you with english language in the same way database is a software right i want to communicate hey do this do that insert some records delete some records add some records change some records so I want to communicate with the database, right? How I can do that? A SQL Server, create one table for me. Don't create, right? I don't understand English language. Or SQL Server, please delete a table. No, it cannot do anything. You have to tell. Okay, if you are in, in your, for example, if you go to any place, what you will do? You will try to talk with them in the local language, right? In that way only they can understand, right? Generally, if you go to any villages and all I'm saying. So, in the same way, if I want to communicate with the database, I should have one language. If I want to communicate with the database, I should have one language. Using that language, I can communicate with the database. So, which language we will use, guys? SQL language we will use. So SQL is a language which will help you to communicate with the database softwares. SQL is a language or else a coding language you can say. SQL is a language which will help you to communicate with the databases. So that whatever your requirement you want to create a table, you will tell, in a, you will tell to the SQL server in a SQL understandable language. Hey, create table table name so that it is a sql language okay it can understand now okay this is my command so using this command i can create the table so that it will create the table so sql is a language if you have if you know english language you can you can talk in almost all the countries right right in the same way this is a common language like english if you want to communicate with the sql server you need sql language if you want to communicate with the Oracle server, you need SQL language. If you want to communicate with any RDBMS, you need SQL language. Right? 
so indian english is separate different us english is different something eu or uk english is different or or if you go to china their chinese english is different everywhere english only but small small differences are there right indian english us english uk english chinese english small small differences are there right so in the same way sql is the very common language you can use this language to communicate with any rdbms software like how we are using indian english in the same way to communicate with the sql servers or ms sql servers we have a separate language called t sql t means transact sql like indian english no oh, sorry transact sql if i want to communicate with the oracle i have to use plsql okay this will help you to con to communicate with the with the oracle okay like indian english us english so plsql will help us to communicate with the oracle databases t sql will help us to communicate with the sql databases there will be no big differences guys almost queries look like same small small syntax differences and all will be there but uh, sql is sql only at the end of the day small small differences microsoft sql is a common language microsoft adapted that sql and it did some changes so it invented t sql sql is a common language oracle took that sql language it had it just added its own pro, uh, flavor to that sql language it became plsql so t sql plsql these are different different flavors of your sql language guys right how we have like our own languages like sanskrit hindi okay uh, telugu tamil kannada so like uh, almost all the languages are close together guys if you compare one by one is easily you can understand almost all the languages are very close together in the same way sql is a kind of a sanskrit language based on the sanskrit language we got all these languages right hindi okay or else other telugu kannada tamil like how we got it from sanskrit language sql is the common language from sql microsoft invented t sql its own common language from sql oracle invented its own common language plsql so sql means it's a language guys which will help us to communicate with the databases ms access will use jet sql to communicate with ms access jet sql will use jet sql to communicate with the ms access guys right will use jet sql to communicate with the ms access and all so in the same way we have our own pls we have t sql so that's why generally if you go for any dba positions and all they might ask you knowledge basic knowledge in t sql and all t sql means the language which will be used to communicate with the sql server databases so that's why you can see this word also t sql in your roles and responsibilities clear guys any questions any doubts forget about other things guys so remaining we'll discuss slowly okay so any questions any doubts till now please no questions uh -huh. fine okay right so now what we can do yes please yes yes uh, so initially you discussed about excel also there also we can store data yes we can call it a dbms product as excel yeah you if you are storing the data generally it's not a excel will ac uh, accept uh, like um, accept excel will accept any form of, form of data right it's not mandatory to store the data in the uh, tabular format only right it will it will accept any form of data but dbms you should store the data in the table formats okay you don't accept other formats 
so you cannot call excel as a, a dbms software okay yeah, any other question okay okay no questions chalo so what we can do now let's slowly start the versions of sql server so slowly we'll start with versions and editions of sql server so what and all versions what and all editions are there in the sql server we'll start guys okay just give me a minute let me open that notes right okay so now slowly we'll start guys till now just very introduction to sql server just very very basic so let's start with the sql server versions so what is their version guys version means an updated software copy of a sql server very simple don't worry for example we are using some of you are using iphones some of you are using samsung some of you are using some other phones and all or we have an experience of using laptops right if you go with iphone iphone we have iphone 3 is there iphone 4 is there 5 is there 6 7 8 9 10 10 iphone se iphone 11 12 13 14 currently which version of iphone is running guys which version of iphone is running what 14 right 14 in 14 again we have 14 14 plus 14 something other some other versions are there these are all versions guys in each iphone version you can see new features right iphone 14 is an advanced version of iphone 13 iphone 13 is an advanced version of iphone 12 in the same way 12 is an advanced version of iphone 11 so in each version apple is introducing new features and the look is also different right you can see different different looks sometimes we can see three cameras two cameras one camera okay front camera different different in each see when when mobile phone was introduced on the first attempt itself they did not introduce the uh, what is that selfie camera right right so later after after so many years of the invention they slowly added front camera selfie camera then they added something features like bluetooth infrared different different features in each version they are adding different different features so version is nothing but an updated software guys an updated software copy of a sql server when sql server introduced when when iphone 3 or when iphone 4 was introduced you don't see any front camera you don't see some other features and all like whatever features you can see now you don't see right when iphone 3 or 4 was introduced slowly one by one one by one they introduced one feature now whatever devices we are using now that might be advanced now but after 10 years those are very basic features right why because by that time in 2034 we might have seen very new features guys so very so 20 23 iphone becomes a basic phone by 2034 because they'll slowly add the features and all right in the same way a version is nothing but an updated software copy like how we are having see um, um apple iphone 10 11 12 13 14 in the same way when sql server initially when sql server introduced they introduced the version called 97 this number reflects in which year they released that software in the year of 1997 microsoft before that they released two three versions also but publicly they released this 97 version guys into the public so in the year of 1997 after they take over the sybase logic after they added some other extra flavors or features from microsoft side they invented okay 97 sql server 97 version like iphone 3 or 4 like how 
how basic phone iphone 3 right so when in the year of 1997 they introduced this version so you cannot expect whatever features that are there now the same features will be supported in the year of 1997 by that time what is the requirement as per that requirement that was invented right iphone 14 is for current requirement right after 10 years our requirements will be changed right so iphone 24 will come by that time iphone 14 is the basic requirement so you cannot expect lot of latest features and all in the same way after 3 years it was not so famous guys but microsoft introduced the database yes we have the database product by that time oracle is very famous before microsoft oracle and cybase is also very famous okay so by that time microsoft doesn't have any database product microsoft is purely into os products operating system product so then they came to know the importance of the database product and they took that cybase and then they invented microsoft sql server so after 97 they invented 2000 microsoft is famous for graphical user interface right because of microsoft only the systems ease of accessing okay how you are able to access the system how you are able to access the internet because of microsoft only guys it becomes system is so easy to access even a layman also can access right so microsoft is famous for its gui products so what did it till till 2000 there is no gui concept in the database if you want to access database and all you should know sql language so if you want to work with any database softwares by 2000 first you should learn sql but what microsoft did is it just changed the face of the database software it invented the gui option from sql server 2000 graphical user interface like how you are accessing your laptop if you want to create a new folder right click choose new and you will create a new folder actually what will happen you know when i click new folder tell me guys what will happen in the back end what will happen in the back end tell me what will happen in the back end guys what will happen hmm so even windows also don't know this action but this gui what it will do you know it will prepare a query for this action when i click on this folder now i am able to see blank folder right so how i am able to see this blank folder so when i click on that option in the back end one query ran one command ran guys not only in the database in your system also regularly commands are running okay when i click on this option when i click on this option it don't know what is gui what is folder and all when you click here the os will create one command that command okay mkdir like make directory directory means one folder such kind of command will be there and it will run in the back end so that command is able to create a folder on your desktop but we don't know what is the command to create a new folder right if you go to linux okay linux command you cannot create folder so much like so you cannot create folder as easy like this you have to write a command to create a folder or a directory but that work will be taken care by your microsoft okay guys you don't worry about the command that i will take care of you you do this thing you just go for a selection based on your selection i am going to create one command i will run one command for you so that it will internally it will do its own business and you can see the output on the screen all these things will be taken care by your operating system guys operating system operating system is an interface is a mediator between you and your laptop okay that device that hard disk or whatever it is 
operating system is interface between the user user means you only who is using is the user between you and the machine right so microsoft introduced gui option in the databases so sql server 2000 became so famous it almost took 60 percentage of database market guys microsoft sql server 2000 hits market like anything by that time you should know sql language to access databases because of sql server 2000 gui option then you can easily access the databases right you can easily create the tables you can easily retrieve the data using basic gui options so it was like a, 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 a sudden jump into the database market to the microsoft so it took from then onwards microsoft is still leading the database market guys believe me and i am not saying go to google type gartner report gartner is one report okay gartner or for databases okay so gartner report go to images you can see the lead who is the leader in the database software okay one minute for sql server it will be there microsoft see microsoft oracle leaders you can see here leaders challengers okay and you can see what is this nishi players and your visioners see who is the who is the leader guys still microsoft is the leader in the database industry so don't think you are you are learning a, an old technology guys always microsoft okay is is into this business since decades so it knows what kind of features i have to introduce to attract the market so don't trigger the time learning an old technology believe me okay so from then onwards microsoft sql server became leader in the database technology so forget about these values what is this 8.080 and all i'll tell you guys there is a separate class on that then after 5 years again microsoft sql server introduced sql server 2005 after 3 years like apple iphone 3 4 5 6 like like the same way after 3 years it introduces sql server 2008 in the same year it introduces one more release called 2008 r2 r2 means release 2 okay then after 4 years it released 2012 then 2014 2016 2017 2019 the latest version is 2020 2022 currently we are using sql server 2020 2022 guys okay so this is the latest version of the sql server that we are using guys so you have to remember all these versions tomorrow i'll ask you guys you better you take the snap or whatever is comfortable to you if you want to write you can write it tomorrow i'll ask you the versions of sql server in the interview this is the first question after your introduction first they will ask you tell me about yourself after that they will ask you immediately on what versions of sql server you work till now this is the next interview question guys so if you don't know what and all versions you worked or what and all versions will be there in the sql server okay it will create a nothing or hr will get back to you that's it very important guys very important like if you want to become a doctor you don't know what is stethoscope you don't know what is thermometer right there is no meaning to the doctor right so these are the versions very basic things very important so you should know the versions of sql server so 2000 2005 88 r2 12 14 16 17 19 and 2022 is the latest version in the sql servers guys like iphone 14 plus 2022 is the latest version which was released in the last year 2022 i guess november it came into the market right any questions any doubts please
which version so in the market in the organization people will you see now if you ask me sir which version people which iphone people are using now tell me which iphone people are using now currently yeah all, all the versions people. right all the versions you see some people are using iphone 4 iphone 5 iphone 6 iphone 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 how people are using iphone 14 they have money they want to upgrade to latest version yes some people they don't have money to invest on that phone so they are still using iphone 8 right in the same way in the market also those who want a new features they will use 2022 those who are okay with old features their application should be up and running just for name purpose for the sake of name it should be up and running i don't need any new features i don't want to invest any more money on this application which is their legacy application i am i'm okay with my old database software they are still using sql server 2000 companies still using sql server 2000 companies are migrated to 2022 also means 2000 to 2022 people are still using clear is it clear guys so if you ask me which version we are using now all the versions we are using all the versions we are using guys it's not like a specific version depends upon my requirement some people are using 2022 some people are using 2019 some people are using 2017 in a project we will use 2016 2017 2019 2022 so in a project different different applications will be there based on the application compatibility based on the revenue based on the amount based on the expenditures they will choose one software and they will use that software guys okay currently we are using all the versions for practice which version should i use 2022 or all our classes will be on 2022 will use during migration will use 2019 so it's okay no issues uh, most see main concepts are same even though you are using any version don't expect a major differences between your uh, sequel server 2016 and 2022 6 years gap is there so might be there will be a major challenges and all major changes and all no like in 2005 what are the features are there one or two extra features are added in 2022 major features minor features lot of features are added but major features we have to concentrate right so for practice it's better to use the latest version always companies will go for latest version so in our training we are going to use the latest version right so before proceeding i need your help guys okay so i need your help i am going to paste one link here please open that link please fill that form okay so this is very important and then we'll continue guys please fill this form why because this is the last demo class and the link also will be changed from tomorrow onwards there are no more demos and again i don't start it freshly from tomorrow it will continue till today we discussed about the versions of sql server right so tomorrow onwards it will continue guys again i don't start from the beginning okay it will continue so please fill this form to send the softwares and all include your email ids include your phone number so fill this form guys and then we'll discuss further things and all so once you just fill let me know just give me a thumb in the chat okay i am waiting for your responses guys please fill it i just posted that link in the zoom chat everyone can see it click on that link just a basic information in the meantime if you have any questions you can ask guys any questions any doubts please once done please at least send me a thumb symbol or done so yeah thank you sir someone started the video you can turn it off please check and turn it off hello sir 
Yes, please. What would be the related to Spielberg and languages? Okay. And Python. Python is also language. Java is also language. So yes. Yes, see, based on different see languages only. Okay. So SQL language will be used to communicate with the database, but Python and Java, these these languages will be used to design one interface. Okay, to design the interfaces and all, we'll use that one, Java and all. Fine. So please fill that form, guys. I'm waiting for you, and the, please don't disconnect. Also, there is an important update. Once done, just let me know. I'm going to okay. Share that one. I still got up only nine responses till now. Twenty six people are there. Please fill it, guys. Again, if you come back to me and again, yes, guys. Ah, uh, hi. Yes, yes. Uh, migration part and do patching part also will tell or not sir yeah, yeah, yeah of course very important concepts how can i skip that one migration also will cover and uh, patching also will cover completely real time oh yes. yeah. i have a small that one yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but course fees yes. no problem abhi no problem sorry okay. so how, please, how much please, is the course please, fee please ping me in the whatsapp yeah. I I hope you have my number, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, just ping me in the WhatsApp, okay? Yeah, yeah. I submitted for us. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. I got only seventeen responses. We have around. 25, 26 people are there. Okay. Okay. So Please fill it guys quickly so that we'll disconnect. Yes, any other Hello. questions? Yes, please. Um, actually, in Microsoft SQL Server, we are seeing a several servers, right? Like 2019, 2022. Versions, versions. Yeah, versions. In each version, there is a additional features are added. Yes, correct. Uh, so, sorry to ask this. Uh, don't do no that. No problem, no problem. You can ask, no issues. In every SQL Server, there is the adding of new features. Hmm. Suppose there is a release of 2023. Okay. Addition of new features. Mm -hmm. So we are entering as the experience. Mm -hmm. So how we are going to know uh, to practice that additional features? See, very simple. Okay, whenever any software is introducing or Microsoft introducing any new version, so generally they will they will have communities okay microsoft community will be there in the community and all they will mention what and all new features we are introducing with sql 2023 how to understand those features how to practice with those features and all they will give initially why because those who invented it is his primary responsibility otherwise how people can understand how to use this feature and all so lot of communities will be there lot of forums will be there so using that communities and forum, whatever new features was introduced by Microsoft SQL Server, okay, they will give you a demos and all. So you can follow and uh, Microsoft KB article, knowledge base articles will be there. You can follow that as well so that you will easily understand the new features, how to use the new features and all. Thank you. No problem.
I got only 20 responses guys till now not sure about others 27 people are there so I just already posted a link in the chart please uh, fill that form so that it will be easy to track you guys and it is easy to send the meeting link new meeting links and all this is the last class okay there will be no demos and all so tomorrow those who confirmed for them I will share the new meeting link so new meeting link you will get it those who confirmed i'll share that so can i drop the call yes, yes. I, I need to jump into another call no problem Sujana. thank you thank you anything is there could you nothing, please make nothing. a call yes yes definitely thank you yes. thank, you. thank you so much yeah, yeah no problem Sujana. mr sharnak i have a question yes please Abhi. okay when i try to uh the check you know or um press the link it takes it takes me to my google account oh that's fine abhi no issues no issues that's fine no issues and when i try you know my google account it just like it sent you know the verification code to my cell phone mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, from my phone it doesn't send anything yes yes that's okay i have your contact no issues so some people will directly join from youtube and all so i don't have their contacts right so for them i'm asking so and that too you have already confirmed right so no issues nothing to worry about it okay yeah still only 20 responses guys not sure about others guys please fill this form okay which i just shared in the chart okay so if you don't have that message i am going to share it again i have submitted the form i'll drop it. okay anita thank you okay so let me yes. I'll fill that and I'll update you. Okay, done, done. Thank you. Just share it, guys. Again, if any new people joined, please use that link and please fill that form. So I'll I'll share the new meeting link tomorrow. Okay, for the confirmed students and all registered students. So in case of any questions, anything, then you can ping me in the WhatsApp. And I hope you have my WhatsApp number. If you don't have my WhatsApp number, so this is my WhatsApp number double nine zero two five nine zero one four zero with country code plus nine one okay so thank you guys tomorrow we'll connect at the same time 7 a.m ist okay right chalo thank you all guys tomorrow we'll connect thank you yeah good night good day guys bye, bye. bye. yeah